What's up, everybody? It's John with John Sports Talks coming out with a brand new video. How's everyone doing today? It's Starback Thursday time, and it's time to dive into this Upper Deck product from 2003. 2003 Upper Deck Play Ball is a hobby box. And um, I saw a video on this by a fellow YouTuber named Dave Durango. I did a video on this product oh, a week or so ago, and I thought this is really cool. Um, this kind of reminds me a little bit of um, Topps Gallery, but they were actually emulating, invoking the 1941 Play Ball set with this uh, release in 2003. It's a 104 card set, so we're making duplicates in here. There are two subsets in this um, in this product. Some are 41 and the Ted Williams tribute, and then there are like Play Ball reprints. There's red backs on these cards. There's relics possibly. There's autos possibly in here. Um, one, I would think, of each, or one, maybe none. Um, I've heard that none have been pulled out of hobby boxes like this product before, too. Uh, it's got five cards per pack, 24 packs per box. Look for unique Joe DiMaggio, 56-game hitting streak insert set. Uh, look for buybacks or original 1941 play ball cards. This is cool. Let's dive into this for Throwback Thursday. Um, there weren't very many listings of this product on eBay, and when I saw Mr. Durango's video... I immediately went on eBay and purchased them. There might have been like two or three, but these are cool. So here's the back of the box of the odds. You want to take a look at that. It's pretty large. Um, bit of information there. Here is this side of the box. Let's get this thing open. Let's get rock and rolling on this product. And I'm excited to open this up and sit to see what we can find in here. Throwback Thursday. Now tomorrow, Friday, we've got Vintage Universal Card Treasures. Um, our third box of that product, and we're going to open that up tomorrow. Okay, here we go. There's the seal kind of pushed down, but no big deal. Here's our checklist. Um, play ball checklist. There you go with that. And here are the packs. There's Mark McGuire on the front when he was in the Cardinals. Let's get all these out of here and open up this hobby box. Where should we put these? We'll put them, let's put them over here. That's where they're in front of everybody and we can see, everyone can see everything here. Okay, here we go. We tilt this down just a little bit. All right, I think we're good to go. So here's the front of the pack featuring Upper Deck's first of all original hand painted regular set. So like I said, this is gonna like kind of look a little bit like uh, Topps Gallery. Um, and then the same information I just read off to you there. Here are the odds. And then down here, there are more, what is this? More possible odds, I'm guessing. I made it to this, uh, this way. Uh, it's entering to win, I don't know what it is. Well, let's get into this. All right, here we go, play ball, cards. All right, here we go. So exactly, look, what did I say? It looks very similar to Topps Gallery. Um, so you got Todd Helton here. Here's the back of these cards. Um, these obviously look a little bit different. Like I said, they were invoking the 1941 play ball set. So you go with that. You got Mike Sweeney. We're going to have to look at the back of these, but we'll do them when we're done. Juan Gon Gonzalez. Nice. So here are the Ted Williams uh, tribute cards. Here's one of them right here. Very nice. And there's a, there's that information in the back there. Apparently these upper deck little like spacer things. We're going to save these because these are going to end up being good. Um, for reveals, so maybe we'll need a couple of them, but they're like thick spacer things. I don't need they just to throw you off. Um, as Barry Z, this is like a mini. Here's what the back of this one looks like. Let's we'll just double check the backs, make sure that there's no reds. Okay, um, and there you go with that. Okay, let's do pack number two. So I'm liking these, these are cool, definitely neat. Now, we did not open up this year's. Um, uh, we did not open up this year's Topps Gallery. Maybe we'll, there's probably that still floating around. Maybe we'll get to that. Um, anyway, here's Robin Yelp. Stay in the Man Mutual. Nice Dolan Ryan. Mr. Cub, Ernie Banks. Here's your upper deck, deck spacer. And then the mini is Bill Dickey. Pretty sweet. Okay. So I'm wondering if this is what the play ball cards would look like. So maybe not. I'm not sure. Um, let's just see if there's any red backs. There is a red back here. Look at that, Mr. Ernie Banks red back. Pretty cool. Like that. So it's like a short print. Put that one to the side. 
Make sure these other ones aren't. Okay, there we go. Let's put that. Get myself organized here because we're going to showcase. Okay. Minis. Okay, we're good to go. Pack number three. Also, they have different. Um, it's like a McGuire. Here's Williams and then Dimaggio. So they must have the three of them on their packs. So that's kind of cool. So, oh no, they have more than that. There's Ken Griffey Jr. How did I miss that? So let's see who else we find on these packs. That's pretty cool. All right. Tim Hudson. Mark Pryor. Nice Tom Seaver. Albert Pujols. Upper deck spacer. And the mini of this pack is Roy Oswalt. It's pretty sweet. Let's see, there's the red backs. Oh, there's another one, Albert Pujols. It's pretty nice. Okay. Red backs. I don't know if there's any rookie cards in this. There's one thing I didn't look. Here's DiMaggio. I'm going to do my research on this. Well, we'll see. If there's any, if any of these guys are rookies, you'll tell me. Okay, Luis Gonzalez. Jason Giambi. That's a creepy picture. Whoa, hello. Mr. Giambi there. Pedro Martinez. Mike Sweeney. And we have a Red Ruffing. Pretty cool. Oh, there's another red back in this one, too. Nice. So Mike Sweeney. Is our red back? I don't think we get one in every pack, do we? Let's double check, make sure I didn't miss anybody. Uh, no, the first pack did not have one. Or did it? No, it did not. Okay, so the red backs are not in every pack. Get back to Mr. McGuire. Hoping we get an autograph or a relic out of this. That'd be pretty cool. Phil Nevin. Jim Tomey, Hall of Famer there. It's pretty sweet. Carlos Delgado. Delgado. Phil Nevin. Ooh, is this our relic? Or is this the Yankee Clipper 41 streak one? So this is like a prefab thing. This is uh, highlighting uh, DiMaggio's 56-game hitting streak. And so this is game 48, July 6th. I don't think this is like our... It's a red back, too, which is cool. Um, I don't know if this is considered our, our relic or not, or if this is just a drill car. We're going to find out. So that's like a, a fabricated relic. So it's not like a real original like newspaper clipping or anything like that there. But that's really cool. Um, and then we have Adam Dunn is our uh, mini. Any red backs? No, we got another. We have two red backs. I have Phil Nevin too. This park's turning out to be pretty cool. I'm digging this. Got to figure out what we're gonna highlight at the end. So we've got Vladdy, Vladimir Guerrero. It's nice. Troy Glaus, Scott Rowland, Jeff Kent, Spacer, and then Babe Dahlgreen. Elzor T. Dahlgreen. Okay. These are many. Got a right back here, Jeff Kent. Pretty cool. All righty. Next pack. You know, I like about this part is I'm not familiar with it at all, except for seeing that video and then um, doing my res you know minimal research on it. So for me, this is cool because I don't know what to expect that's coming up. And hopefully, you, if you've never seen this before, you're feeling the same way. So here's a Dan Nomo, Pat Burrell, Joe Morgan. It's nice Hall of Famer there, Joe Morgan, Albert Pujols. Uh, I think this is the regular base. Let me just double check. Yeah, this is probably going to be the regular base. The Yankee Clippers street card. So these must just come in. I didn't see the odds on this. So this is definitely not our, our relic um, So hope, or auto. Um, so this is uh, game number 19 from June 2nd. Do we look at the back of these? They don't really glance that hard. Here's the, the one from before the, with the red back. But this just gives you a general some little breakdown of, the you know, uh, the game. You know, what Joe, Mr. DiMaggio did. Eric Chavez is our mini. All right, so let's see if there's any um, reds in this one. There is. And they're all pool holes red, so it's a double of that one. Um, okay. I was expecting to get doubles of the reds, but I guess you can get the red backs doubles in this. 
Okay, Mike Mus Musina. Hall of Famer right there. They're on the Yankees, though. Nice Chipper Jones. Catfish Hunter. Kerry Wood. The Spacer. And then our mini is Carl Hubble. Okay, let's just check out the backs on these. Red is Kerry Wood. All righty. Let's go to the next stack. This, is, I believe, is the middle stack. All righty. Barry Zito. Slamming Sammy Sosa. Willie Stretch McCovey, and that was his nickname, Stretch. Adam Dunn, the sp wonderful spacer, and Stan the Man Musual. Okay, that's pretty cool. Any of these reds? Yep, Adam Dunn. There you go. Next pack, Mr. Griffey on it. All right, let's see what we got here. Roy Oswalt, Mike Piazza, Randy Big Unit Johnson, Eric Chavez, Upper Deck Spacer, and then we end with Dolph Camilli. It's a regular back, and the red is Eric Chavez. Might be a double, I'm not sure. We'll find out. At the end, we highlight everything. All right, next up, next pack. Something cool. Alex A. Rod Rodriguez. Richie Sexton. Nice. Willie Pop Stargell. Pops. Todd Helton again. And we got another one of these. Yankee Clipper. This is from game number three from May 17th. That's pretty sweet. We we're back on that one. And Nolan Ryan Mini. That's pretty nice. Okay. It's pretty cool. And that's just a regular back on that one. Is there a red in this pack? There is. It seems to be the first card now that's showing up like that. The first pack I don't think had one. Or did it? Maybe it was one of those packs. Did not have one. Ten uh, reds so far. I don't know how many we opened pack-wise. Or ten, eleven reds. It might be a mini. It was a red, too. Anyway. Maybe they come one in a pack. Adam Dunnigan, Derek Jeter, that's pretty sweet. Andrew Jones, Mike Sweeney, that's a double, our spacer thing. And then Joe DiMaggio, mini. Joseph Paul DiMaggio Jr., pretty cool. And the red is Mike Sweeney. Okay. Boom. There were only four cards in that pack. Let's we'll go back and look when we watch this. Let's see. Eric Chavez again. Not the double. So maybe the Reds. Anyway. Uh, Kerry Wood. Each row. It's pretty sweet. Hall of Famer. Is he? No, not yet. Not yet. Soon. Is my guess. Juan Gong Gonzalez. Upper Deck Spacer. And then Tim Hudson is our mini. And the Red is Juan Gong. Right there. All righty. Two more pack, three more packs, and then we'll go to the last stack. Pretty fast video today, looking like. Jeff Bagwell. It's pretty sweet. Phil Rizzuto, the Yankees fans, Kurt Schilling. Robin Young again, the wonderful spacer. And then Charlie Gehringer. Gehringer? Gehring, Gehring, Gehringer. I don't know. <laughs> Robin Yance the red. Let's do one for pack. Okay. Two more. The middle stack, and then we'll do the last stack. Pretty cool so far. Let's see what else we can find in here. All right, Yvonne Pudge Rodriguez. It's pretty sweet Hall of Famer right there. You've got Harmon Killer Killabrew, another Hall of Famer. Uh, Orlando Cepeda, another Hall of Famer. They're the San Francisco Giants, or was that New York Giants? San Francisco Giant. Okay, Stand the Man Mutual, Spacer, Mark Pryor is the mini basic 
general base on that. Uh, Stay in the man's the, the red. Okay. Let's check something real quick here. So there's any, I don't know if there's any red backs on these minis. Uh, there are not. So, okay. Last pack of the second stack. Here we go. Todd Helton again. Bernie Williams. Manny Ramirez. They stole Ryan against the double, I believe. The spacer. And then Tommy Henrich is the mini. And then let's see what our red is. I think it's going to be Ryan. It is. That's nice. And the rest of these here. Okay, let's go to the next and final stack of cards here. Packs. All right, here we go. Luckily, finding the auto or relic in here. Let's see. Billy Williams, Jeff Kent, Lance Berkman, Tim Hudson, Spacer, and then we end with Todd Helton Mini. And I, that's our red. And double check. Okay, they're all the same. Okay. Yogi Berra, Tom Glavin, Hall of Famer there, Berra in the Hall of Famer too as well, Rafael Palmero, uh, J.D. Drew, Spacer, and then Hank Greenberg is our mini. J.D. Drew should be the red, based on the way things are going. We're getting the pattern down, everything's rocking and rolling here. Here we go with the next pack. Tori Hunter. Nice Barry Bonds. Tory Hunter again. Why'd that happen? They look to be the same. I don't know why they would do that. That's weird. Unless one's a red back. Let's find out. And it is. Thank you. <laughs> upper deck, Matsui. And then upper deck, um, Spacer. And then Mike Sweeney is the mini. Let's drive my notes. I'm putting it down. It's like wobbling all over the place. Okay. Next pack. Larry Walker, Hall of Famer there. Alfonso Soriano. No more Garcia Parra. Richie Sexton. And our mini is Pee Wee Reese. Whoops. Okay, and the red back should be Sexton. Let's check. It is... Make sure there's no other, no other extra reds in there. There are not. Okay. All right. Miguel Tejada starts us out. Frank Big Hurt Thomas. The Big Hurt. Mr. Frank Thomas. J.D. Drew. This is cool. Summer of 41. So this is another subset. Um, Dolph Camilli. I think we pulled his mini card uh, of him. Um, there's that. That's pretty cool. Spacer. And then we got Juan Gon Gonzalez, the mini card. Let's see if there's any red backs in here. There are not. So this is our insert. Um, there you go. It's pretty cool. So we got one Ted Williams and one Summer of 41 card out of this hobby box. All right. Three more packs to go. Three more, three more packs left for a chance to... Uh, Find something special here. Let's see. Sean Green. Roberto Alomar, Hall of Famer. Darren Erstad. Another Darren Erstad. It's probably a red. It is. Spacer. And then we got Joe Cronin. The Boston Red Sox is our mini. Joseph Edwin Edward Cronin. Okay. Let's do our last two packs. Okay. All righty, Mark Big Mac McGuire, uh, Ishii, Kazushi Ishii for the Dodgers, Brian Giles, there in the Buckos, Barry Zeta, that should be our red back, it is, Upper Deck Spacer, and Robin Yount is our mini, all righty, last pack, 
We're going to get anything. We're going to get a relic. We're going to get an auto hit. I don't know. One pack to go. It's not guaranteed. So um, this is our last pack. Last pack, Mojo. Give us something good, baseball card gods. All right, last pack. Uh, Ken Griffey Jr., the kid. Rocket Roger Clemens. Greg Maddox. Roy Oswald, that should be our red. Looks like we're getting no auto or no relic unless this mini has got an auto or auto on it. So that stinks, but there we go. And it was Barney McCoskey, and I think that would be kind of hard to get an auto from this this gentleman here. So he was born in 19, what, 18? Um, yeah, so there you go with that. So we didn't get an auto hit out of this, didn't get a relic. That was kind of disappointing. Uh, but we did get a lot of really cool cards, and let's share what we found real fast. Uh, it's a general base cards. It's a 104 card set, like I said. Those are back there. We're not going to go through all those, but majority Hall of Famers, massive names you know. Um, what do we get here? Let's go over. We got two inserts. Um, the uh, Ted Williams Tribute subset card, and this one's Summer 41. And then the back of these. So those those are there. What else did we get here? We did pull a Derek Jeter. It is, I, I like Derek Jeter, but this is a general base card. We'll put him up here. Um, what else did we get here? Our minis. Let's go through these really fast. There'll be a few doubles in here. There are no red backs in these minis. Okay, and we end with Barry Zito. So there are the minis. And then we got um, three of the um, Yankee Clipper 41 streak um, insert cards as well, which they highlight certain games um, from DiMaggio's 56 game hitting streak. And these are these are pre-made, these are you know prefabricated uh, little relics kind of things. They're still cool. Um, but um, so there you go, these. And then we did get one red one which is kind of cool. So check this one out and see if this one holds any, any particular value. And um, look through these cards and see if there's anything in here that uh, might be uh, some gems in the rough as far as pricing goes, perhaps on eBay. Our reds, uh, looks like they came one per pack. Um, I wasn't sure in the beginning that I kind of figured out. Yes, they did. So here are the reds that we got. They might have a couple doubles in here. I'm not 100% sure. We'll find out. These are all red backs, as you can see. And there you go. We end with we two over two Albert Pool holes and with uh, Mr. Mr. Cub Ernie Banks. So there you go with that. That is it. That's all she wrote on the 2003 play ball hobby box. It was fun. It was cool. I was hoping we were gonna pull an auto or relic out of here. We got three of these uh, prefab ones, but that isn't what, um, you can, there are other actual relics in, in here. Um, but this is cool, this is lots of fun. I'm glad I, I was able to purchase and share this with you guys today here on John's Sports Cards. So um, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed it. I did, this is cool. And um, yeah, if you like this product, go pick it up. It's it, there, there are a few boxes that were actually available on eBay. Uh, the, the price isn't too bad um, for an older hobby box. Uh, it's not super cheap. It's not over the, through the roof either. It's just kind of right in, you know, normal uh, pricing on something like this. So, um, yeah, go check it out and see if there's still some available. If you like these cards, like I said, they remind me a lot of um, Topps Gallery, but obviously they're not, you know, they're, they're going off of this 1941 play ball uh, uh, design. Um with this particular release. So that's it for today, folks. Hey, if you're not subscribed, like what you see here, the subscribe button right below my ending screen. Give me a thumbs up like this video. Comment down below. Let me know what you think of these cards. Did I pull out any super gems out of here that you know of? Um, and what else can I say? Sh share this video with your friends, family, and loved ones. The eBay store link is down below in the description. Tomorrow, we've got Universal Treasures, the uh, third box that we will be, we will be opening of the tops uh, 52 to 83 um 
time frame range for from this product so it's gonna be all tops cards if you've seen our other two videos we pull out some incredible cards out of those two first two boxes i'm hoping that this one is is uh just as good so you're gonna want to check that out tomorrow and that's it for today folks thanks again for watching this is john john sports signing off and we'll see you all soon.